<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Cameron. Welcome back to the Days Gone Let's Play. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. And man, can I just say I'm I have missed this game. It's been a while. I haven't played this since before I left. So it has been a while. I don't entirely remember what I was doing the last time we played. Um, I'm trying to like check what I've got really quick for stuff. I'm trying to see if there's any like collectible stuff I can see, but there's not. So. All right. I can't actually see my mini map because there's another TV in the way of it. That's fantastic. Should just shove that stuff over. Give me one sec, guys. There we go. Get that slightly out of my way. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. I was really confused. I was like, why does it sound so quiet? And then I remembered I turned my volume down. I was playing Sleeping Dogs. I've been playing Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition recently because uh, I just picked that up because it was on sale. It was like five dollars or so. It was like I think it was like four seventy-six or something. So I picked that up and I've been playing that. It's been pretty fun. And uh, at one point I was listening to it. I had headphones plugged in so I could actually hear the story better because this TV has issues with its sound. But they started getting really irritating, so I just unplugged them. But they were so loud and I couldn't turn it down at all. So I used, so I just went into the system settings and turned my, my uh, headphone volume down. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, why does it sound so quiet? Oh, a little bit of lag spike. But it feels nice to be back in Days Gone. I'm, uh... Really hoping I can get this finished up soon. Come on, come on, come on. Damn. Finally. Jesus. Oh shit. I forgot this cave is kinda of fucking wonky. Very, very difficult to get through. Still use sleeping dogs a little bit because I just tried to run with X. C can you Deacon? Can you oh, I'm on the wrong side. I was like, I'm pressing X. Why is it not climbing the ladder? Boozer, you there? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke! That's good to hear from you, brother. How's it going? Yeah, it's, uh, everything's fine. Booze, man, it's, uh, I'm okay. Yeah? Bullshit. How long did we ride together? What's going on, brother? Uh, I, I, look, Sarah, it's a long story, but she's, she's part of the militia down here. She wants to come back with me, but... Now they, uh, they're forcing her to stay, booze man. They're not gonna let us leave. What the hell? Forcing you to stay? Jesus, Dean. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna grab Iron Mike, uh, uh, Ricky, some men. Look, we'll find a way down there. We'll. Boozer, no. No, you don't understand. They got hundreds of men, and they are armed. Shit, they stole from the National Guard, the military, and the. the... I don't give a shit what they've got. We're gonna. God damn it, listen to me. You, we cannot let the Colonel, their leader, 
Find out about Lost Lake. These crazy boos are batshit fucking crazy. The militia, they're attacking every camp that they come across. Drifters, squatters, campers, makes no difference to them. Oh, Jesus, Dan. Look, I got this. I got this figured out. Just if anything happens to me, if, if you don't hear from me again, then... Dick, I'm... Look, you're gonna figure this out, like you said. Okay, you, you get Sarah, and you get her the hell out of there, you hear me? Yeah, booze man, I hear you. Alright, that's more like it. Uh, uh, you're cutting out, I, I can't... Deek? Deek? I hear you, brother. I hear you, Deacon out. Damn. It is... It, I do think it's pretty fucked up, to be honest. That... The militia are so against any other camps besides their own that they literally just decide to try to attack everybody for no reason. And I, I said it too. I said legitimately when I started that I did not trust them. I did not in any way, shape, or form trust the militia. And I am very much happy that I'm being proven correct. Because you should not trust them. They are not trustworthy people. They are terrible people. And yeah, it may have started. Oops, it may have started because I saw Corey with my ring on. But let's be honest. I I said from the get go I didn't trust these guys. And now it's being proven that I'm correct. I shouldn't. I was right not to trust them. Especially once I met the Colonel. But he's an asshole. He he's a bigger asshole than Corey is. So. do also really quick want to talk about some more things coming to the channel very soon uh, I am still planning on putting uh, evil genius 2 world domination onto the channel the the playthrough for that is gonna start a little bit later than expected though it does come out very soon I just don't currently have the money to buy it I haven't started my new job yet um, and once I do start my new job my first probably my first like two checks are going straight to bills and food and stuff like that because it's around thanksgiving time and i do have to buy stuff and i do have to pay bills and shit so it's gonna be a bitch to uh prep all that hi hook you okay buddy no pupper and also i do want to talk we are planning on moving again already pretty much we, we we're kind of already talking about moving again um i will explain more about that once we're done with this cutscene. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Mm -hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outposts with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure sure. it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. I hated O'Brien when I first started doing the missions that involved him. He's he's growing on me. Got it, O'Brien. So, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and other. You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. I'm sure I will. Well, Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Uh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got 
people here would be grateful. Grateful? Yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. Gross. O'Brien, well, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. Fair enough. O'Brien. So while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't. I don't like where this is going because this sounds way too close to what we just really went through in real life. Handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <sighs> yeah, well, probably would. Say, John, out. Interesting. says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Mm-hmm. Trying to like not move too quick because another flare. Yeah, this has to be the way uh, through here. The thought of moving too quick and dying just doesn't sound fun to me. Down there, maybe. Just God knows what the fuck is in this goddamn cave with me. Okay, here's number two. Brian, I uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? So I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. <laughs> That's just, it's so great. Oh, Brian, good for you. We didn't ask for this. Yeah. Neither did anyone else. There's number three. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a pipe. Mr. Cooper. What the hell are you doing down here, man? Fuck. Oh, sorry, one sec. I'm distracted by the thing on my map. Oh, okay. It's an ambush camp thing. Yeah. That doesn't look good. It's about to suck. Oh, Brian. I found your last name. I don't remember to find the third dude, but alright. Copy that. Oh, no! Oh, no! Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. 
hey, 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 right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot! We're stuck! Keep down! Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no! My shit's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Chen. Get Chen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper, are you there? Jen? I'm here. I can hear you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you in Oh, my baby. Can... We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Cooper. I'm not gonna cry. I'm trying my best to not cry right now. This is very, very sad. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to what I'm about to have to deal with. So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? The guys in the lab named it the Reacher. What is it? Got long arms, claws, what? No, it's just fast. We've clocked it 40 miles an hour. 40 years, Jesus. And yeah, it's strong. Maybe you should abort. I don't know. Hell with that. I'm not aborting anything. This is a fight. It is now. So... Jesus. This thing is fucking crazy fast. Like, fast enough to where that didn't even help. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! Oh, fuck. You've got to be kidding me! It's a horde coming, and I have no fucking... I have barely anything. Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Let's go, Bendejos. Oh, fuck.
If it wasn't for that Napalm Molotov, I'd be dead right now. Hey, buddy. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, Damn right. No, no, thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Stop trying to bite me, dude. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what a shit. Survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe hey, this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Wow, fuck you too, dickhead. Use my greatest regret against me. What a jerk. That was a fucking hell of a fight, man. Like, like holy fucking shit. That was a fight. Not just the horde, like, not even just the horde, like, the act, the Reacher itself was tough as fuck to kill. Damn, that was a... That was fun, though. I won't deny it. The, the Reacher may have been a massive, massive pain in the ass. Because it's very fast and very difficult to track. Oh, shit. But, all in all, it was still a pretty fun fight. Made for a very fun episode. You okay, buddy? Ah! Shit. I really gained... That out real quick. Ow. Ow. Up we go. But yeah, uh, should continue talking. So, Jesse and our friend Hal, me, Jesse, and our friend Hal went and watched Eternals recently, and while we, before we went to watch it, we were kind of talking and discussing things. All of us are kind of in places we don't really enjoy being, and we've all kind of talked about this and decided that we're going to start looking for a house. And it was something Jesse and I were already doing a couple years ago, trying to find somewhere because we wanted something more fulfilling. And with us both living here right now, we know Shut we want up, something bitch. better, because this place is kind of a wreck there's issues with it and we just know his mom needs better care and stuff like that so it's kind of been something we've talked about for a while and at some point we'll be kind of figuring out and hopefully within the next year sometime in like 2022 we'll be moving once again um to hopefully a at least for the time being more permanent place Hold up. Is there anything? No. Okay.
Do I really have to drive out of it and then drive back into it? Proceed. I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far, from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place. At this time, is no accident. They bring word of more camps. Like the one to the south, which we have purged. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened. All of us. Hook, hold still. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. Hell yeah. That's right. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's not. My dog's being very dumb they right now. They are part of God's plan. Right. Yeah. They plan. are part of God's punishment. Yeah. Reach, Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow man. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. To save all the knowledge. So when the, the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. But in this age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. There will be no baptism of water. No. In this last age, we are the flood. We are sent forth to baptize the world with fire. Jesus. He's a fucking psychopath. Seek out the depraved and cleanse. Brian, this is Saint John. Come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and militia camp. You've disabled the RPGs. Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll pry it out. Okay. Gotta get to the RPGs. That. Where? Would my dog would stop out? trying to bite me. The towers. It's gotta be the towers. All right. That is gonna do it for this episode, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.